Hi, today I'll talk about how to make your own PCB at home in a simple way. First, drawing the schematic. In the schematic, you draw all the components used in the circuit and how they connect together and the value of each resistor and capacitor and the functionality of chipsets. Also, the input and the output, if any. Breadboard implementation. Breadboard temporarily connect the components and their traces, so it would be easy to remove and reconnect any of the components if there is something wrong happens, before it's become too late and too expensive to fix the issues. In this video, I build a simple light chaser using a decade counter and a trouble 5 timer. And once everything works well, I'll go to the next step the circuit design but before moving to the design stage there are several types of electronic components but mainly we will talk about two types the surface mount device or the SMD and the dual inline package or DIP which I'm gonna use in this video You can choose any PCB maker tool. For now, I'm using the Express PCB desktop application. I will draw my circuit and the components traces. But be aware that at some points, we have to reflect the design and the text as well, as you will see in the next steps. Print the PCB, bring any kind of adhesive paper roll and with a pair of scissors cut a rectangle piece, then peel and remove the adhesive paper and keep the paper that was on the back. Use a laser printer and print the circuit on the remaining paper. Transfer the printer design to the Cooper layer. Now cut the printed designs. Then cut the copper clad laminate. I'm using this blade to make grooves on both sides so it will be easy to snap the blade in a straight segment. Clean the Cooper plate laminate with a piece of steel wool to remove dirt and grease, if any. Put the printed side of the paper on the Cooper plate. And start ironing.
Now soak the laminate in water. and gently peel and remove the paper. Chemical etching. I'm using ferric chloride. Put some in a container and drop the blade in it. And keep moving the liquid while the blade in the container. In the temperature of 24 degrees Celsius, it will take about 30 minutes to remove the undesired cooper. And again, Clean the PCB with a piece of steel wool in order to remove the ink from the surface. Drilling holes for the components. And since I'm using the dip type, I have to drill holes in the PCB so I can fix the components on the board. Finally, Solder the electronic components to the PCB. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.